Okay, which stock market will do the best in 2021 at the time of writing? You can see historical performance, which of course, as we know, is no guide to future performance. And you can see who did best in the latter half of last year. The Indians came top. Then the smaller AIM UK market, you've got NASDAQ there, which is the, uh, uh, the US, of course, Brazil, Shanghai, see the Japanese market, FTSE, and so on and so forth. But that doesn't really tell us much because it is very much backward looking. What we really need to look at is this ratio, the Sortino, which measures the average return versus the volatility. In a way, it's the whether you're being compensated for the risk that you're taking. The higher the number, the better. Okay, which is why if I was choosing, I would prefer the NASDAQ with a Sortino of 0.7 over the Mumbai exchange. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute, Alpish, I don't happen to live in India or America. How do I invest into these, whether it's a SIP, ISA, 401k, or a normal investment account? An exchange traded fund can track these indices. And you probably want to avoid the higher volatility indices anyway, the 17%. Because if you're tracking an index, which is a basket of stocks, you're probably doing it to mitigate risk. If you're mitigating risk, you obviously don't want high volatility. So what have you learned today? Sortino is critical. And I would probably say out of these numbers, uh, well, you can see they sort of speak for themselves, which have got the highest and as that 100 still, of course, as a result of historic performance, uh, but index tracking probably the right way for most people to go and a safe balance of risk and reward.